Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're reviewing, or at least I'm giving you my uh, impressions on the Icon 1000 Varial Boots in black. I got this recently, uh, and I've been I've been liking the fit and the comfort of the shoes. It is uh, surprisingly for a motorcycle boots to be quite pleasant on the foot, not too stiff. Because what my uh, experience with other motorcycle boots is, they tend to be very stiff without any comfort because it was designed for safety. But this, on the other hand, feels actually more like a casual boot but uh, the material is made of full grain leather so that's a positive but uh, the a problem also with full grain leather is it tends to scratch up more uh, than uh, typical textile or a canvas material so with this one i ordered a 43.5 i usually order just a size 43 but usually a 43 corresponds to a nine and a half. But with this, with this shoe, when I checked out their sizing chart, their their 9.5 actually corresponds to 43.5. And since I was ordering this online, which is actually another issue with ordering online, you can't fit. Is I'd rather have it a little bit bigger than it being too small. So I went with the 43.5, which which surprisingly was was the better option because when I first got it, it did feel a little uh, a bit big. But what I what I do with most of my motorcycle boots is is I buy a gel insert. It it makes it more comfortable to to wear outside of the motorcycle. Like when you're walking around with your motorcycle boots, I find that having a gel insert seems to be the best compromise since the the bottom sole of motorcycle shoes tends to be very stiff so i bought a gel insert put it in and now the 43.5 which is a 9.5 for icon fits perfectly with to me i also noticed that this boot is is pretty wide that's almost always my concern when it comes to shoes is i need something that is very wide that's why some of my shoes I go even all the way up to size 44 just to fit the width this one on the other hand actually fits perfectly so uh, if you have a wide uh, foot you may want to be considering the icon uh, since they do seem to fit uh, wide feet riders so this boot is actually very comfortable to use wear it on and off the motorcycle they are they they fit they fit good you can walk easily without it and it still comes with the needed protection it has a it has a metal shank at the bottom of the sole to make sure your sole are protected and the ankles are has a d30 uh, armor so so in terms of safety i don't have any problems with these shoes now the only thing I really don't like about this shoe is it doesn't have uh, a shift protector. And I've only used this a few times and you can already tell there's some indents and some scratches on the, on the leather that is pretty obvious already. So I'm not sure long term how this is going to look after a few more uses. Well, another thing that I'm not really a big fan of is, is the is the ankle strap i don't like i don't like the the pin and holes type of design i'd rather it be a velcro it's a lot easier to put on but this one it does it is easy to take off you just pull it out but putting it on it it, it, it is a task especially if you're wearing gloves if you're not wearing gloves then that's a, a bit easier but not really the easiest as compared to a velcro Price-wise, uh, if you don't get it on sale, I think it's around $150, so you're talking about around seven, eight thousand, which is not bad. But um, you can check around 
and usually you can get it on sale and this would be around five to six thousand pesos only which puts it a really good value for a motorcycle shoes that is made of of uh, full grain leather and has armor on the sole and armor on the ankles now by the way uh, you might be noticing that the the shoelace is uh, a black with a yellow design this is not what came with it originally i replaced it with with the uh, spare shoelace that i had at the house uh, the original one came in on just all black so i made it i made it to this type of shoelace to make it look more casual actually reminds me a lot of how the doc martens uh, boots some of their laces actually come with this color the black with yellow design so that's my initial impression of the Icon 1000 Varial boots. So I will see if I can make a, a long-term report on this after a few months of use because like I said, I, I'm a little bit worried on the shoe protector, uh, on the shift protector part because it doesn't have any, any extra material on that, how it's going to hold up after multiple uses. So guys, thank you again for listening. So uh, till our next vlog, bye. Oh, by the way, don't forget to like and subscribe.